What's up, Twitch? YouTube? It's your boy, General Freak, bringing you guys another five-player match, world domination. <sighs> the energy is high tonight. Ooh, I feel it. This is good. So, I've played with two of these players before. I know Zack Attack is quite aggressive of a player. Wow, look at Zack Attack position in Australia. <sighs> Red's kind of got a semi-claim, but green definitely has the bigger claim here for sure, right? So I'm last to act here. I'm blue. <sighs> I want to go for North America just because I always get that, that bad luck in North America. I haven't won a game like starting out in North America in a very, very long time. So we'll see what I'll do here. I, I am I am last to act here, so I get to see what all my opponents do before I decide what I can do. So that's always a nice kind of advantage in a sense. So yeah, no, green's just connecting and... Uh, I like the play, because then 6 is going to go for a star there, potentially. We'll see, red m might want to go for it. If he puts 3 in Australia, he matches green's 9 in Australia, but you know, green has that Southeast Asia 2 there as well, and that 7 once yellow move so yeah i like red's play triple nine you know i'm pretty sure um pretty sure red's a good player here that's awesome that uh, red did not take me out there because i actually might uh, put one there at least so it's a two and then try to hit that easy red's easy one there <sighs> yeah okay So red going for Africa kind of thing. Every general must have his ice cold Stella always, or beer, or drink. Just cracking a nice cold Stella. I've mentioned it a few times that I like to put the Stella in the freezer for like 20 minutes range and then it's like the perfect cold wow that's satisfying so starting the stream around 8 45 what's yellow doing here 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But, um... Really? Is Yellow contesting... Africa? This is weird. That's what might be happening here. So it kind of makes sense for me to go to North America. Hmm... Thing is, I could move them out of North America. Hmm. See, I don't like that m movement up there. It's really decide, do I want Europe or do I want North America? That is the question, right? Uh, this is a big decision. I gotta think this out. I don't know if three... Like, white might move these down eventually or something, but...
I almost like this option here. I don't know why I went fast battle there. <clears throat> so this option is what I want to do. I want to stick him on Greenland, my major force, because I'm basically keeping the option open to take Europe or uh, North America here. Potentially white might hit that easy one there. I kind of moved them all out so white could put them there in the next few turns and and hit it and free it up. But we'll just see how the board goes. I'm thinking I'm leaning towards more North America just because um, it's been too long since I've got a dub out of North America, so I got to do it almost. Oh, puts them all in. Gets the connection. Wow. Wow, Zach attack. Sitting pretty in Australia, that's for sure. So now, what's going to happen with that red, yellow contesting? I guess, actually, I should move that five out there. I can't believe I was, like, not paying attention to that. I could move those out of Africa into Europe. So weird. Yeah, yellow is doing the right thing, getting them out. I guess yellow did kind of a rescue mission to get him out, but I don't know where. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick North America here. I'll I'll, I'll open the door out up for um uh like yellow will probably move Europe naturally. Oh, six and six. That's not good. It's a fairly strong early South America. I don't like that. I see someone's tuned into the stream. Nice of you to tune in. Swinging on to me here. I just put the, the chat on now. So that I can see it. I might have missed your first comment. If someone, whoever uh, joined in. So... I'm gonna double that up there. Actually, no, I won't. I'll give White the easy path to see if White moves him out. be a deterrent. Even if white brings him down, he'll have to go through that. That's fine. <sighs> wow, I went to fast battle there again. Hey, John Paul, how's it going? <laughs> John Paul says, hey, I was just saying that it was funny that you got North America again. I know. I'm, I have high hopes for this game here. It's going pretty smooth here. So far, and I get to get the five out, right? I see someone else is tuned into the stream. Nice of you to tune in. Just 
just move them all there to Greenland. And I can move that three out the next turn. It's looking promising. White might be... Wow. Green taking heavy losses. I gotta go to the dice rolls. I can't risk... Yeah, I like that. I would play it safe here. And yeah, get some in. Yeah, get some more guys in. I like the stop by green. Wow. As far as I remember, uh, Zack attack was pretty aggressive. That's a kind of a nice conservative play there. I like that. Just bring that little extra. There's no need for that, but green did take a lot of losses there. Green wisely slowing down there. Just take it next turn. I'm really curious of what white's going to do. So the good thing is I got that 5 out of there, which also... Oh, I, I got that 3 down there still. The idea now is I want Red to have a strong Africa right away to contest White. And that gives me, you know, in theory, that a few more turns later, I'm going to pick up North America here. Taking a few losses. I really want a North North America win here. Wow, takes the two out instead of the one. I just interesting. I'm so confused of the thinking there of hitting the two versus the one. Maybe, maybe the player hit it by accident or something, but why wouldn't you just go through one? Not that it really, really matters, but it's just, just like to know people's thinking sometimes. Can't get this far. Go against that two. Five? Wow! Imagine that. Two against five win. That'd be epic. Nice. Huh? Now the nine's got to move. That's good and bad. It's definitely bad if White's going to lay on there, right? There he is. <laughs> no, I spoke too soon. I'm like, ah, oh, have a good North America. Oh, everything will just go just fine and dandy. Nope. Now I gotta play really. I won. Yes. Wow, nice. I'm going to put these on Greenland and kind of create a deterrent. Threes in at least every territory. See, what White should do is move that five out. White might give me respect in like two to three turns to take North America. White needs that force out in Asia, right? Oh, I should have broke um, that three up in Africa. I wasn't even thinking. I want red to get an easy Africa right now, right? 
Whew, I can't believe I forgot to do that. Jeez, yellow might be able to take. Take Africa. Red's super dwindled right now. Four stars, though. Yeah, see, now red's got to go for the desperate. See, I'll open up for the star there. This turn for sure. I don't know what I why I didn't do that. Tight. Taking that star, ending the turn. Wow. It's kind of sitting out in Asia, really. Right. White just gets that five out of Alaska. Don't want to see that, right? Oh, I just got the worst luck in North America. I really do. That's why I put five there, though, right? Because now it's like, why? What was the point of that, right? If tons of easy ones in Asia, like why would you ever do that? Like you should be defending your borders anyways. You're smarty. Nice. See, that's why I put the extras there because if this eight decided to hit me and it like went to my plan, like I actually, he, the uh, white player got unlucky and lost quite a bit and that was that's kind of the bait, right? Like, I'm just going to put five there just to... It's somewhat of a bait slash... I want to show that I'm somewhat strong there, so... That totally screwing... Screwing white there. Come on, get it. Uh. Give Give yellow the gate here. Draft See, what white needs to do is take that eventually take that five force out of north america and survive there in asia wow here comes the big bad trade in here wow 29 wow horrible losses for green but even still green sitting real pretty in australia on the red here. John Paul says North America hates you. I know it does. It does. That's okay. See, but at least by 
Red might not. Uh, reds. Wow. See, red's really weak here. Seven stars, really weak. I wouldn't be surprised if. How many stars does yellow have? Six. Get that 14 force right on your doorstep. Oh. It's like yellow takes the gate, though. Nice. That'd be awesome. Let's move out next turn, no problem. Eight stars. How many I got? Twenty-four. Yellow has eight stars. Oh, yellow's get, white's gonna hit me for sure. I just know it. I just knew it. I almost have to trade in now. Nice, maybe not. So stupid though. Like, why? What's the point of that? To get that force there? Get him out in Asia. You're gonna need a force out there. See, it's so foolish because white needs to force out in Asia, but now. <sighs> God. Like, now I'm just so vulnerable, you know? 20 troops, like, yellow could trade in for huge. And just take me out now, you know? Every. It's just like, why? What's the point of all this yellow? Why, why, why? What is the point? I almost have to trade in. I know it's weird, but I have to. I'm just, that really hurt me a lot. Like, just enough, like. Yellow could take that 14, polish me here, and then trade in. Put them all there. Hit, you know, hit me eight, come down to. So easily. And, like we were saying, if people are. Like, loose players a lot, right? So. So now there's no reason to hit me, right? I don't know, if white, white keeps hitting me, I might move out into Asia here eventually. Not really, but... Like if I keep getting this bad North America luck... Yellow has eight, like... Yellow could just... I was so weak without that trade in, you know? And now I'm literally worth absolutely nothing. And instead of just some dummy trying to take me out, you know? It's not worth it. Nice. Pretty sure white has a lot of stars too. Well, this is what I'm saying. I need, I want red to have Africa now, because now white's got to put st focus on that border a lot more than mine. That's why I'm watching. And now, look, you'll probably see how the tides change here now with the white focus uh, directing. I bet you the white player is going to direct their focus on red now for sure. You know.
He stars us 21. You know, I had like a dwindling amount. Just take Europe for Pete's sakes. Move the five out. Yeah. Let's cre let's create a game. Like let's make a game here. I just want Yellow to go Europe. It really sucks that I traded in there because then I don't usually I like to trade in for big and then fortify Europe or fortify North America on the trade in. Oh come on! Don't give me this bull crap. At least half the forces are dedicated to that front there. Get out in Asia, you dummy! Like, even Russia, like, Whites had that in Russia, could have been getting easy ones for, the, for their star constantly, but nope. So basically what I have to do now... Basically, what I gotta do now is slow grind it. Draft phase. So yellow and white both have a big trade ins coming up, so. gonna say I didn't see that coming but that would have been it's a good move to be a thorn in my side I guess but <clears throat> like if I was green I'd be more focused on yellow red Star trade, and here it is. Here's Europe for sure. No, come on. I swear White did that on purpose just to be a prick, like, pretend to go like Europe and then just come down. Tch, come on. And that's exactly what I don't want to see because it's like an early break. Like, you could have had such a fortified Europe, but now Red's dwindled. You know, in a sense, I need Red too. White's got a massive trade income in, don't forget that, you know, like... Come on, yellow, get your, your act together here. Just no need to break there, in my opinion. Could have just had Europe fortified there easily. Nice, don't get it. I'm gonna deal with all this bull crap.
Oh, I'll just give him the friggin' easy one if he's just gonna keep hitting me, you know? Like... Right, I know white's gonna hit me, so just put a few there. Hit me, and then just, like... Instead of me just putting a bunch of troops and trying to deter, like, white is just blindly attacking me at this point. Ah, oh, the North America. John Paul says that's rougher red, the break. You know, and that's... Like, and green is just getting massive, right? Oh, yellow's still massive. I just, like, find it hilarious sometimes when, like, I'm not a threat and other players are way more big a superpower, but yet the targeting of me keeps happening. It's frustrating, but that's okay. I'll per persevere, you know? It happens, right? Why not make green the superpower? Hey, why not? Wow. And then the break on white. At least that's good. That helps me a lot, right? Because now white's focus is totally... Like, oh, wait, what? Yellow is getting massive there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, wait. I've been targeting blue the whole time. Now I don't have South America. Oh, bummer. But the thing is, he's... This is great, though. This is actually what I want to see. But green's massive superpower now. But white's going to trade in, right? Left them there, nice. And White's gonna trade it now. Puts them in Northern Europe. Maybe White's thinking Europe now. Uh, yeah. <sighs> now, is it really worth it for three stars? Yes, let's make green massive superpower. This is pure John Paul says chaos. This is pure chaos. Like nothing makes sense. Three stars? Is it really worth it? If you could have annihilated, you could have took back South Amor South America easily and fortified it. Instead you take out red. See I knew White's that type of player though. It's just like, oh I need to take people out. Even if I just like jeopardize the game for myself, I'll just take people out for five points or whatever it's like phew. it's like you get 20 if you get the w like why don't you just get the w instead you know i mean this is really good for me Um, Place. 
This is such a weird move, too. Like, it's almost I should have scooped up a little bit more. The next turn here, I think I might actually just scoop up North America in total. I like to see that, though, that inactivity in Australia. Keep them all inactive right there. No problem. Like, no one is a threat right now to, to green, right? There's no need to keep them all back like that. There's literally no threat around him. There's easy ones everywhere. Because <clears throat> everyone was just pure chaos attack. It's nuts. Very easy for white. Thought he would at least go five and five or something. Nice. The good thing is green. That's how dwindled white is after that. You done. You done, son. I don't want to slow grind it here. I want to. No one else has a lot of stars except green, but green's all inactive there. Oh, I almost should push for North America because everyone's so hurt, though, honestly. Oh, I should. I should. I don't know why I haven't. I should definitely push for North America next turn. Polishing up a zillion easy ones. You know? He has so many territories. Probably 17. Yeah, I definitely need to take North America next turn. here for four stars it's a, it's a bit of a risk though like if yellow loses three here or something you know he's in trouble oh but if he, he's got to keep keep clean and hit clean hit and white like that no losses you know that's how you 
yellow will get it here. Three losses though, three losses. The losses. You need a three loss kind of situation here. Oh, well, it's going pretty successful for yellow here. That's the thing, if... Yeah. Desperate one on one pays off. Break you for sure if you do that. Really? Oh, very smart. Yep, let's just not defend our border. Like, what I find so hilarious about that is, like, look at the troop numbers. It's just like, why are you peeling into me when we need to be peeling into green? Who's got superior numbers? Like, why? You know what I mean? It's just like, why? You know? I would love to ask people a question. Be like, so why the attack there? What was your strategic point? Probably be like, I don't know. I guarantee I'd get a lot of answers. I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually going to respect yellow. Even though yellow is probably going to hit me, but I really need yellow not to hit me here. That's why I'm giving the respect to South America. Because I'm more worried about green. I'm not worried about yellow, you know? But I have a feeling yellow is going to hit me anyway, so I need to put a bunch there. And this is okay. If green trades in, breaks me, let's say, and leaves a few there, then I trade in and take North America back, right? Nice. See, this is what I need to have, and this is why I didn't break yellow, because now... Come on, break yellow. Yeah, break. Screen's not thinking, now yellow might direct the trade-in attention on green for breaking now, you know? And that's what I need right now, because green's so powerful. Get them all inactive there. That's a good idea. Perfect. Jeez. He's just got so much superpower, but yet they're just so inactive. Now I need yellow to hit green. See, I almost, almost should have broke yellow 100%, but the reason I didn't is because I need to actually make peace with yellow right now. Even though he was being an idiot towards me, I still have to make peace with him. Yeah, hit that 37. Do it, do it. Oh no, don't hit my 12, please. Don't throw this game. Oh my god, he's throwing this game. I can tell already. Oh wow, I, I'm so, wow. God, that got me so nervous. Why you gotta put him right there, you know?
Like I said, I'm going to respect South America because I need Yellow to be my friend right now. Green has nine stars, so that's 25 plus five, that's 30. <laughs> No, green's too dangerous so that I have to trade in, you know? I have to trade in here. See, I built nothing up on yellow's border because we have to basically because green's got nine stars so really that's 30 more troops if the trade-in hits and then green's gonna even be more patient and probably wait see how me and yellow need each other right now green trades in All right that's 90 troops I have 60 he has 33 that's literally the amount, basically the amount of troops that green has. Right. Right, so out of respect. Oh, it takes your up. Obviously I'm gonna break your up here. Nice. John Paul says tense moment, laugh out loud. Yeah, no. This is, right? Me and Yellow need each other right now. That's why I'm giving Yellow South America, because we need to hit green. Or green's got 30 more troops coming, right? It's like we almost both got to fight against green, even out the playing field, and then battle again for superiority, right? Like, that's... is good because because yeah, green is obviously after oh no oh yeah sorry green just went nice I mean this is good because Green has so much. I don't know what Yellow's trying to accomplish here, but. Yellow does have the right idea. And hitting green as much as possible here, basically. Got a massive trade in, massive.
taken away that extra... Green only with 11. So losing that extra territory by me hitting in there. Here comes 35, right? Oh, yes. How many stars does? Stars for yellow. Uh, I think he, he messed up here. He can't take out yellow though, unless. Oh, I think green totally messed up to take out yellow here. Not bad move by Green there. Taking Africa here. I gotta hit Africa with that 21 though for sure. the worst freeing up that 20 right come on yellow I like the effort but break Africa like what do you mean what are you doing over there wasting freeing up that 17 come on right. now I got to break Africa obviously I can't give them the momentum Africa then that releases the 20 right and I'm in trouble I can't believe you freed up the 17 there. Alright, I know what I gotta do. I'm gonna push for South America here, actually. It's a two-player game at this point, basically. Come on, no losses, no bad losses, come on. Now we can break easy, right? Shoot. Last thing I need, you know? Literally the last thing I need right now is a bunch of losses. Actually, I should move the 21 down. Uh.
I think the 7 is a good move onto the 10, actually. I don't think I'm going to get hit in Asia. All right, now it's, is Green going to push for the break? Probably in South America, I would think. Uh, 11? Shoot, I didn't realize. Really? Wow. Come on, I need the win. I need this. Come on, hold the line. At least dwindle more. Shoot, I should have just hit green. All right now I'm in trouble. Big trouble. Ah, I'm basically screwed at this point. Maybe I shouldn't have took South America. Such a win. I kind of messed up here. So now I'm inactive over there. <sighs> I really need that. For I think I'm gonna co completely bail on North America. Another bad luck North America game. See, I want to break Africa, I want to break South America, but then I free up the 20, right? Ugh. I'm in just such a tight position, tight spot here. Probably should have. I should have broke after. Still on like, Draft phase. you know, it's like I almost need to break, but I can't afford to wake up the twenty. Just so long ago, I was so afraid of green, you know, and like how powerful green was getting. This is tough. I'm in a tough spot. Yeah, what I should have probably done was definitely break everywhere.
you know, I'd, in a perfect world, I would love to... That's a good takeout on Green's part here, too. It's desperate, though. Lose him. This is what I need. I need Green to lose this and then lose the three. It's very possible. Come on, lose those. Ah, now there's a good chance. Two on one, two on one. Shoot, come on. So desperate. That was that was the little bit of the turning point I needed, too, probably. Alright. I'm in a tough position here. I gotta break green everywhere, obviously. I needed green to lose that there, but I guess green could have came from up there as well. Yeah, instead of moving to Australia, what I should have done is almost hit green everywhere. And that would have been my best bet, you know? Oh, is he really leaving it that wide open, though? Wait a second here. I mean, I'm pretty screwed at this point, but... I oh, don't know, I should have just left some, because now I gotta... I really messed this game up. Nothing I can do, though. I, I should have hit green immediately, though. Nice. If I get the break everywhere, this is gonna be huge, though. Nice! So what I want to do is 
I'm gonna throw those in there and just leave those 10 in Australia. I know he could break Australia and... Alright, here comes a trade-in most likely too. So I, I, I auto-assuming that that 10's already out of there, right? That's why I... Leaving the 18 inactive. Here comes a trade-in. 19. Alright, I'm in big trouble. But what I want Green to do, actually, is hit me in Australia here. So I'll free up my 10. This is a tough game. If I come back from this, this would be... losses right now in my favor. Europe and North America that easy, huh? Doesn't matter. He's just going for territorial gain. Yeah, that 18 is probably going to move on the 9. I see what's going on here. Yeah, I'm in tough, tough, tough position here. Jeez, honestly, my best bet is to, like, put a few here and then try to break North America and just take out that 14 force. But put, like... Like, literally do that and then do this. I don't know, I'm trying to think of a better option here. Break Europe in the north. Oh, like, all everything goes good. Break Europe. Still got so many territories anyway, so I'm basically screwed. All right, let's do it. I guess I probably should trade it in too for that extra bit. Come on, dice rolls in my favor, wow. I needed major luck there, that's brutal. Got the luck over there. Nah, I'm done at this point. Yeah, there's no way I win this. I needed the break there and the break there, but I also needed to take like 10 territories away, right? There's just too much here. That's painful, right? It's a way... It's tough because... Green had so much momentum, right? I kept getting hit by white. I kept getting hit by, um... Who else? Uh, yellow. Remember when I was, t I was, I'm talking, I'm like, oh my god. Me and yellow need to fight green together as a team, and yellow was kind of doing that, and then freeing up green 17 there, which was just brutal for me. Yeah, it's... Just a little too much momentum in Green's favor. Just 
too powerful at that one point. Literally, I had like 60 troops. Yellow had 30 and like green had 90. And that's why I was saying like I'm giving yellow South America because we need to hit green. And then that freeing up of that force. Yeah, there's no way I can come back from that. And at this point, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to do another video after this. At this point, I'm just playing for the fun of it, really. Come on, one on five. That'd be epic. Imagine that, too, you know. John Paul says, Hard L, snapping your streak. Lesson learned. Never go for North America again. <laughs> I'm actually going to take... <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm going to take that advice. I'm never going for North America again. Just the worst luck for me. And it's so funny because I always tend to go for it because I'm like, oh, I haven't won in North America in a while. In this game, I actually held it and then just pure chaotic players, though. Like, it's just like, what's this person going to do? And then, oh, so I, I guess uh, I'm the answer. So I guess that was kind of pricking me to just be waiting on my turn, but whatever. But yeah, no, um, North America's just no good for me. Just no good. North America, why do you curse me so? Like, when I played factions, like, North America was normal. But now it's like, I just have... Unfortunately, taking the L. Oh, yep, thanks, Rose. Yep. That makes sense. So, yeah, I'm going to do another game here. This was just absolute madness is what it was from day one. It's just like, like, I just, I remember at a point, like there's literally easy ones in Africa and Europe everywhere and green just like came in and like took a bunch of territories at one point. Just too much of a power situation. So funny, I swear like 15 minutes in the game. I know, eh? Trump Paul says, I'd like you sending you off with nice rolls. I know, eh? He's kind of just doing it to be a prick, in a sense. But all in all, taking a hard defeat, unfortunately. And there's some situations like this where there's just not much you can do. Where you can play a tight game, you can play pretty good, but... You know, if someone just literally attacks you the whole game like I was getting, and then... 
and then everyone just chaos, and then everyone's dwindled, and green's just massive superpower, and it was hard to bounce back from that. And North America is just, I am so unlucky with North America, so add that all into the formula, and you just have a, a hard defeat, unfortunately. But it's all good. I still had a great time. I hope you guys did too. Um, I might call this one, this is madness. It's just, I love how all my titles are like this chaos, like madness and all this illogical game. And like, it's just like, I swear like 50% of the games are absolutely madness. It's all good. Uh, for you guys watching the stream, make sure to tune in. I'm going to do another uh, game here. Um, for you guys on YouTube, please comment, like, and subscribe. I think I'm going to call this one, This Is Madness. So thanks for tuning in, guys. And make sure you tune in next time when your boy, General Freak, takes over the world. All right, peace, guys. Take care.